Hey everyone, imagine you have a form and there are a bunch of input fields. And a lot of those input fields are already pre-filled, maybe by the backend. And you want to verify the values from each input field. And instead of getting each input element one by one and getting its value, you probably want to extract all the values and validate them in a single assertion. Maybe you want to compare all the values to this list of expected values as an array. So how can you extract all the values? So first, get all the input fields, right? There are 10 of them. Uh, by the way, um, be careful because checkboxes right here, it's not a single value, each one has a value. Okay, and then let's say these uh, inputs and you can use Cypress low dash map and you can iterate over this jQuery object and for each element like this element get its value. So it's a DOM element, input element, and it has a value property. So now you get all the values by iterating and let's just see it in a console log. Okay, so this is what we grabbed from the inputs and we can use should deep equal and when expected values, which is right here. Perfect. So we confirmed it, but there is a problem. Scythe then is a command that doesn't retry. So you get whatever you have right now and you never go back to the form. And the form might set some of its values asynchronously. For example, let's take this date of birth, right? right here. So imagine that we don't have this value set and instead we set it after one second. So set timeout, call back after one second and we'll say document get element by id and I think this is birth date value equals this value. So look at this field, right? It's empty and when it's set, but by then the task has already finished and failed. So we can retry by rewriting this expression as a single callback. So we can say should and we get the jQuery object and right here we can move it and say const values, okay? So extract them. And then we can expect those values to deep equal expected value. So the same assertion as before, but now because it's all inside, we should call back. If it fails, it goes back to the site get command, queries it again. And after one second of retrying the value is set, we get the expected values. Now it's all good, works. But if you're using Cypress version 12, then you can use my Cypress map plugin, which gives you a lot of queries. And the cool thing about queries like SciGet, if you chain them and then have an assertion, then the whole chain of queries will be retried. So think about what we're doing right here. We're taking a list of elements, really, in jQuery, and we're mapping each one to its property value. So there is inside Cypress map plugin, a custom query command called map. And all we want to do is to take whatever is the current subject and go through the list, through the jQuery object and map each element to its value. And then it yields a list of values. So we can say should deep equal expected values, just like we've written before. But now when this assertion uh, fails, it goes back and re-executes SciGet and SciMap. So look again retries, retries, goes back and finds it. Okay. So this is how you can get all input elements, grab their values and use those values in an array to confirm the values in the page.